How long have you been walking? Four, maybe five days? And at the moment you want to give up all hope, you see this hut in the middle of the swamp. A lady in blue robes is looking at you. And she says, This is how to make a supernova and today we're going to make a swamp hut. My friends, good to have you back because today I want to show you my swamp hut. With some very basic materials and some very simple techniques, you can get some very realistic results. So let's get building. First I'm going to make a simple cardboard house so we have a base to work from. Um, all the walls are 9 centimeters in length, uh, the walls in between are 5 centimeters in height and the roofs are 5.5 centimeters. So here we have our basic shape that we're going to work with. Uh, the next step is to draw on some doors and uh, to draw on some windows and then cut them out before we can move to the next step. Here will be a door, uh, here will be a window and also here will be a window, so now I'm going to cut them out. Um, but I'm not going to cut the whole door out. Um, the, this door I'm going to cut in a Y shape. And I'm going to cut these windows with an X. And this way we still have some cardboard left in the case we need to glue something uh, to the inside of the windows or the doors. So I'm going to start with the door. And now I'm going to uh, slightly cut uh, the outside lines. I'm not going to cut um, all the way through, but just a very shallow cut here. So the cardboard will bend very easy. something like this. Um, later this won't be visible anymore but when we want to build a door frame we still have something uh, to glue the door frame on. Um, so this is finished and I'm going to do the same uh, with all the windows but with an X shape. Before we can glue on the coffee stirs I'm going to give everything a black base coat. The coffee stirs I have have these uh, round edges and I don't want that so I use my bell sander uh, to take uh, the round edges off so this uh, will be very useful and to cut them all uh, I'm going to use this uh, clippers. The first thing I'm going to do is to make uh, the door frame uh, so this piece will be something around here. I'm also going to do that on the other side. And when that is in place, I'm going to uh, add the part here on, uh, on top. And for gluing this whole thing, I'm going to use um, PVA glue. I'm gluing this part of the door frame on and you can still see this uh, small edge. Um, because later, when we're going to make uh, the walls like this, the door frame uh, still will be visible and give you a much more interesting look. The door frame is in, now moving on to the walls. Uh, for the walls I'm going to glue my coffee stirs uh, like this. So I'm going to cut them up and then I'm uh, gluing them all over the walls. Um, for the windows we need, um, I think it's four layers, let's see. Yeah, one layer of coffee stirs uh, before we can make uh, the insides of the, of the window. Um, so with this fourth layer uh, we have some extra strength and some extra material to glue something on. The first four layers are almost dry so now we're going to make the window frame. For that I made some two centimeter pieces and um, we're going to glue them on uh, like this and again some part is uh, sticking out to get some cool effects.
The glue is dry and now it's time uh, for the next thing. We're going to make uh, the door and the windows. First thing we need to do is uh, to cut away the excess uh, cardboard. So uh, this piece, this piece and uh, over there. And then I'm going to glue in a black painted piece of uh, cardboard and it will be uh, the background for our door. Um, and we're going to do the same to our windows. For making the door I already cut these stirs on the right size, uh, but when I would glue these in it would look a little bit boring because uh, these blanks have the same thickness as everything else. Uh, so for that reason um, I'm going to uh, split them in half to get a more uh, natural and more interesting look. For the walkway we need to build uh, the frame, so I will put two pieces here and two pieces here. And then I will glue on a second layer. So they are a bit stronger, but I also have the same height to, uh, to work with. The next thing I need to do is to glue the smaller pieces um, here for the scaffolding. But I'm also going to include some uh, larger pieces, a few here and also a few here. Um, and then I have something uh, to glue the house on to give it more strength. And it won't be visible because it's underneath the house. And if you like this build so far, please consider liking and subscribing because I have more cool projects I want to share with you. The house is still hollow, so gluing it on a project like this would be a little bit difficult. Uh, so that's why I have this scrap piece of foam. I'm going to glue it inside the house and uh, when it's dry I will have more surface. Um, I can put glue on and then it will be glued in place, something like this. I added some additional hot glue to make sure uh, this thing uh, stays where it is. And I also painted it black because when it's all assembled it's going to be uh, a little bit difficult uh, to reach everything. So it's black and mostly it won't be visible. I'm going to use these wooden dowels to uh, lift the whole project above the swamp. So this is the base we're using and uh, I'm going to build something of a hill uh, on this side with some uh, spare parts of foam. I'm not sure where I want to place it so I'm just going to uh, uh, play with them, fit them and uh, when I'm happy with it I'm going to uh, cut them on the right size and glue them on with some hot glue. To blend all the foam and to make some rocky textures, I'm going to use some uh, Sculptor Mold. Uh, Sculptor Mold is this plaster and paper modeling compound. And you can use normal plaster for this, but the paper fibers make this compound very strong and very lightweight.
For painting the swamp pot, I'm going to use a brown wash I made. Um, I don't have a plan, I'm just going to throw it on and see uh, how it looks. And later when it's dry, I'm going to add some uh, green and some black washes to get that uh, dirty, swampy lift look. And to give it some more depth, I'm using my uh, airbrush to shade all the recesses. The first uh, step is to give all the rocky texture and overbrush with some dark brown paint. With every layer I'm going a bit lighter and I'm also uh, going a bit more uh, muddy. So every time my um, dry brushing is done, I'm adding uh, yellows and greens to my paint mix and then dry brush it again. Now it's time for some homemade wash. Um, I'm starting with a very dark gray, well, almost black, and then uh, when it's still wet, I'm uh, blending in some browns and some greens. The ground is dry, now we're moving over to the swamp itself, and uh, the first thing we need to do is to give it a black base coat. The next step is to apply some dark green on the swamp. Um, we're starting with dark, dark green and with every layer uh, we move up, we are going to add more uh, yellow into our paint mix. So we'll get a more vibrant green. Um, in the middle, it will be darker and on the edges, it will be lighter. So we simulate the effect of some depth into the swamp. And to get some gloss on the swamp, I'm going to use some gloss Mod Podge. To get some ripple effect, I'm going to use my airbrush, but when you don't have an airbrush, you can do the same thing with a normal straw. For the tree, I'm going to use these uh, branches I found in the forest. Uh, when you use something from the outside, make sure it's dry, because uh, when there's still some moisture in it, it can ruin your project. Um, these branches, I found them last year in the summer, so I'm sure they're dry. Um, the next thing, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use some moss like this to make some uh, well, not leaves, but more dirty vegetation. Uh, but they are way too bright, so when I glue them on, I'm going to uh, spray paint them black. The mud punch isn't entirely dry, but that's not a problem. We're going to work on the trees and uh, the vegetation. Um, so first I'm going to make a hole here, fill it with hot glue and then uh, plant the tree in it. And then I'm going to uh, place these, they were green, but now black mosses all around. Um, and when that's in place, I'm going to paint them. To get some color on the bushes and uh, the trees, I'm going to use my airbrush and a very light green color of paint. First, I'm going to add some patches of uh, PVA glue and then I'm going to use my static grass applicator to put some grass on. And then it was time to put everything together and put some details in it.
My friends, thank you for watching and if you want to know more about making your own washes, I suggest you watch this video or maybe this video is more interesting for you. See you next time.